not going to Alpha him yet. It's probably best for Tyr to wait for us here. Amir, how many stories have you told about Odin and Thor? And all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. All the other people they've hurt. Let's see. Not now. Wait, are those Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. Free are we, free of the Father. Our half-wise now belong to no other. What do you think that means? I don't know, but there's definitely something more going on here. Do we have to be here? Creeping me out, all these poor bastards with their souls cut up. The soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim, those were Enriar? I thought Enriar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. Ah, there you are. I knew you hadn't forgotten me. the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever realm traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. They seemed better in Alphon. <laughs> Did they now? Alphon. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here. But that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble Winter. Living desert. Huh. Hold on. I hear something out there. Okay. It's in pain. Our goal is at the temple, not in the desert. There, the Temple of Light. Thor's shrine is at the top. 
Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. <clears throat> Wait. Freyr's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight Stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. of the Vanny traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. <laughs> Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough. Please, we don't need to do this. We do not have a choice. Find you! Look out! We're the ones who freed the light. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alphard. Is that a bomb? Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. To beat to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, theirs. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. I didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. I'll go first. Atreus! Let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you Unfortunately go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. Solid light. Guess some things don't change. Uh! 
Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise? The light. Ah. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light stable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, Mal and Soul began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success to see the... Oh. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves, let me try talking to them again. They may just let these two do their thing, brother. Across on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. <laughs> Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way, the shrine awaits. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple. And themselves have to look at them. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. Elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger. What do the Dark Elves want with it? And to return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are safe, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there.
Another of Cavassier's poems. Gotta be a better angle. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh, there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Tear. Get back. The long and short of it, aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. I'm not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. They sure made a lot of these light doors. Hmm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the dark elves run the roost again. I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. Oh, tricky. Gotta be a way to get your axe behind this crate, right? out of turn, but the white marble wall behind that grate. Perhaps your axe can reach you. Why'd we explore? Back to it then.
Why not simply hold it in place? right lyricism from the mind of Gracia. I suppose I'll leave you to it. He's getting the hang of it. I've never seen the Light Elves with so much control over the temple. That's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Spartal Yoffer's counterpart. The Dark Elf King. Yes, he's in the light now too. Timing must be precise. <laughs> this mystic doesn't see us. There's twilight stone on the ground. We 
can continue up this way. Here they come. Do what you must. Light up on the way! figure out how they're making light bridges. Look at this statue. These crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. Oh! The crystals still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Ah, oh, the Nornir. Why must they insist on these frustrating trials? You would know better than us, brother. I can't remember the last time I visited the Norns, nor do I wish to try. And here we go again. Birds you've hunted. I wonder if it might be worth visiting the Raven Sea. Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. That angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now. Can we really place all the blame on Freya? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The war. For Alpine, perhaps. But not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own path, regardless of where they end. <laughs>
Shield move. right? I'd wondered what became of Svartlyoff. We had to defend ourselves. But when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. Do you still hear something wounded out there, Trace? I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. There, the central chamber will bring us to the top. Once we find our way past yet another light door. Stone up there. It pairs quite nicely with the Twilight Stone. A knack for interiors, these light elves. Ah, facing the wrong way. Hmm. Maybe if we allow me to speed this up. The angle should work, Kratos. hear mother inside last time but I can't anymore her soul is one with the light now united by forces older than Odin himself she is at peace Atreus I hope so when father went inside the light he said he went he... inside the light of Alfheim yes and yet here you stand of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated you must tell me Kratos what did you see that memory is for me alone but I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. 
but she was plagued by constant visions, so conversation was difficult, to say the least. She's... she's gone. Yes. Keep moving. Almost there. Huh. They changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many dark elves. I... All this time, I thought the dark elf came... I thought all the dark elves were... Here? Yes. Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. There it is. Ah, you all made it. Welcome. At your service. Keep it spatter free this time, right? Kratos? Wear it with pride. Have we more to talk about? This must be from Alfheim. Explains the, uh, sand. The giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. 
Unfortunately, she found something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out, demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he had, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look, here. This is what we saw. It's you, fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't... I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? Other realms thrive. And Odin dies. She lied. Roa lied. Of course she did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin! We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there. And the elves. Champion. Okay. Whoever that is, doesn't matter. But for the first time, we know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win! Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, you. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. It is time. We can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. There used to be a Nornir chest down here. We moved it. Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. Behind you! Incoming! <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
Now before more arrive. We need to keep moving. He's really worked up. Think he's okay? Focus, Atreus. This way. Far from over. I... It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight, but with you three, there is no avoiding it. 
Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. I just want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough! We'll discuss our next move when we are out of danger. A dark elf assault. How fortuitous! Can they just leave us alone? We need to get out of here. Through here! Fire! 
Keep moving! Leave now, please. Almost there. This way. Here. We open the gateway, please. You want war, Atreus. See for yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. We do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. Look, I know we can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now. I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, okay then. Good. Yeah, lead the way. Fellow travelers. Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is... stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. Stuff some cloth in your ears to keep the sand out. Don't knock it till you've tried it. <laughs> 